Hi, Brady here with a bite size, and this one is on love. The big four lettered word that we're all afraid of <laughs> and don't understand. So, some years back, I studied love because if you understand why things are the way they are, then you can choose what to do with them, right? You're an informed person and you're making decisions on an informed basis. What I discovered was that there is unconditional love and there is conditional love. Now, what are you thinking about the love in your life at the minute? And I mean all of your friendships, relationships, because those are all versions of love and people don't realize that. And when we say the word love, everybody, because the media has us trained to think of this big, you know, roses, hearts, it's all flowers and, and um, violins. That isn't just what love is about at all. You love people around you who take care of you, who are your friends, who who you who love you too, right? And it's not the big, you know, all ending, you know, grow all together love, but it's love, right? So that's very important. You can get love from so many sources. Um, it doesn't have to be the one love that you were taught by the media um, or by TV or anything as a kid. So you can get love everywhere, but unconditional love is where we love each other just because of are who we are right so our personalities our characters we appreciate the person we just adore them inside and out right that's unconditional love conditional love is where we love someone because they do something for us right and I made a video a few weeks ago about studying the agenda in all of your relationships all of your friendships all of your associate relationships everything figure out what the agenda is in all of the relationships you have with people on this planet you start to figure out which ones are the unconditional love which ones are the conditional love who is there because of an agenda and who is not there's how you figure out the sort of souls you want to surround yourself with and the sort of souls you do not okay but unconditional love you see it a lot with kids and parents right parents love their kids because they're their kids and they adore them often the kids love their parents because they adore them and they're their mom right but let's think about conditional love when you are being loved with condition what that means is you are off use to someone right you're providing something to them and that is why they're giving you love in return it's not real love they're making you feel loved because they can see you need validated right and the condition is that you're giving them something that keeps them feeding you this validation that's how a lot of love is happening right now in this world so have a look at the relationships you have, the friendships you have, the intimate relationships you have. Figure out, are they unconditional love or is it conditional love? And if it's conditional love, what is the agenda here? What is the currency here that I'm getting validated for? Is it money? Is it providing? For, yeah, what is it, right? So the, you're of use in some way. You're wiser to figure that out then let that continue for too long because what happens is you lose far too many years of your life having to fix yourself after that right so and that happens a lot this is happening all of the time and I'm coaching people all over the world and I know what happens in people's lives right so start to, to analyze your relationships which are conditional love which are unconditional love and for the conditional love relationships figure out what is the agenda here and decide are you okay with that is that gonna is that gonna work out well <laughs> anyway there's some insights on love for you um, there's loads more I can do but that will just get you started today just to inform yourself on love in, in a better way than the stuff you've been fed by media and by society for most of your life have a good day